on Community Conversations, we're talking about National Day of Prayer, which takes place on May 2nd, and I'm joined today with Crystal Hall. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thanks, Haley. It's good to be here. So National Day of Prayer is coming up, but first, what is National Day of Prayer? So National Day of Prayer is a day that is... Um, <sighs> It was first put into action by President Truman and then by President Reagan back in the 1950s. And it's just a day for all of us to gather and pray for our nation, for our cities, and for our families. So tell me about the National Day of Prayer events that's happening in Lawton. So the ones in Lawton, we're going to have an event at um, the First Baptist Church downtown. And that's going to start at 730. We're going to have worship until about 8. Then there's going to be um, some different people speaking about prayer. And then there's going to be a breakfast for the first 75 people that are there. And then after that, we're uh, kind of dispersing everybody out to different prayer sites. There's going to be prayer sites at the north side of Lawton, south side, east side, west side, and centrally located. So everybody can go and pray in their respective communities of where they live. What is the theme for this year's Day of Prayer? So this year's National Day of Prayer is Lift Up the Word, Light Up the World. Okay, Lift Up the world. Lift Up the Word. Word, okay. Like the Word of God. Yes. And then Light Up the World. All right, okay. Yes. Sorry about that. I got a oh, little that's backwards. Okay. That's okay. And so where can people go if they're interested in getting more information about going to different churches? Like we said, First Baptist is that first one, but they're right. dispersing. So if they want information on where the east side or the south side location is or where they should go, how can they get that information? So the best thing to do would be to come to the breakfast that morning. And you don't have to stay and eat or stay for the whole program. But there we will have um, sign-up sheets of where everybody can go to pray. We're calling it the prayer precinct, just kind of like a voting precinct to where whatever area you're in, you can pray in that area. And so people can show up at the breakfast, but if they can't make it there, um, we have our Facebook page, the Lawton Fort Sale National Day of Prayer Facebook page that we're posting and marketing all the information. And then also you can go to um, the Oklahoma National Day of Prayer website as well. And that's listed there. Why do you think a day like this is important? I think it's important because there's just so many, unfortunately, negative things going on in our community and our world right now. And uh, unity commands a blessing. And the word says that where two or three are gathered, the Lord is there amongst them. And there's a lot of power in prayer and a lot of things that happens that we don't see when we pray. And so it's really important for us to pray for our community, for our families, that um, we can see results and we can see a change seems like we're seeing a lot of unity within the churches. First with Easter, yes. now with a day of prayer. So it's, yes. it's neat to see. Anything on that? I think that um, as we continue to proceed forward in unity, we're going to see it beget more unity. And our communities are continuing to come together. And we're trying to like break down these walls of denomination mm -hmm. because it's not about different doctrinal beliefs. It's about lifting Jesus up and coming together for the greater good, which is praying for our community and seeing greater things happen. And so I think we're only going to get more unified as the days continue. All right. Well, thank you so much for talking to me about United, or Day of Prayer today. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Haley.